At the very beginning of Genesis chapter 1, did you know that there's a dragon being referenced in there? Now, many of us have slipped right over it because we didn't know that there was a dragon even there at all. It's because we think that the story of Genesis was potentially written around the same time as another creation story by the Babylonians. Its name is Enuma Elish, and you can check it out. But in Enuma Elish, there is a chaotic water dragon named Tiamat. And Tiamat, this, this chaos that exists before creation, keeps creation from existing because it's just destructive. And then along comes a hero that cuts that dragon in half and creates the heavens and the earth out of the dragon's body. Now, what does that have to do with Genesis? Well, if you look at Genesis chapter 1, you'll notice that there's a reference to a watery, chaotic void, which might be a reference to Tiamat. And it has God in that moment put boundaries to that watery chaos and put it to the side so that it can't destroy the creation that he's about to make. So how does this impact how we understand sin? Well, yes, sin is a participation in chaos, but in a unique way, it's kind of like sin is going back to that watery, destructive chaos and letting it loose again. That watery, chaotic dragon that might be referenced right there in Genesis 1 that God put boundaries to and limits to and said, go over there so that you don't destroy anything. Sin might be like walking back and busting open that cage. Because sin, it's more than just activities. It's, it's participating in this chaotic void that just doesn't seek to create, but instead seeks to destroy. Chaos unravels things, and nothing can blossom or bloom. No creative endeavor can actually subsist or continue to be when there's a chaotic destructive force. And that might be a helpful way to understand sin. Sin is inviting that chaotic void to come back. And either in large activities or even some of the small ones that we do, we have to be careful because all sin is inherently destructive, whether on a grand scale or on a small one. So be careful of even the small ones because what's happening is you're calling forth a little version of that big dragon. And that little dragon can get really big if you don't keep track of it. So I think that's it for now. All right. Take from that what you will. But just remember, sin is a participation and a primordial chaos that God originally put limits to. And we're not supposed to bust open and invite that kind of chaos into the world today. May grace and peace be with you.